All I ever ask is keep it eight more than 92 with me, 100. Sir, what's good with y'all? You heard me. Now listen, for this video, I'm finna go ahead and reveal my secret. One thing I've got a lot of questions about over the years, over the past couple of weeks especially, was how to grow your YouTube channel. How to get your first thousand subscribers. Your first hundred. Truth, how did you do it? How did you get your subscribers? How do you get, you know, as much loyal subscribers? How do you get people in your streams? How do you, you know, all of this. I'm legit finna break this all down to you so y'all not gonna wanna miss this video. I'm finna explain it all to you. So you're gonna wanna watch this from now, you hear me, to the end. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna try not to make it too long. Don't know exactly how long this video gonna be, but I'm just finna break it down to y'all and explain, give y'all the best knowledge I can on my experience. So, I first started my YouTube channel June 30th, uh, 2017 is when I made it. You know what I'm saying? So, about... Three years ago, right? And I'm at, I'm almost at 2,000 subscribers. Mind you, I took Buku, I legit took like a year break. Then I took, also I took times where I just was taking, you know, six months here, two months here, three months here, come back, grind for a month, ghost for two months. You know, I messed up a lot, but y'all know, you know, my some people that already was subscribed to me already know that I, you know, recently in the past couple of months realized that I really want to make YouTube you know, my my job, and that's my passion and everything, and so now I'm grinding. But anyway, y'all ain't come here for me to talk about, you know, that. Y'all came to figure out how can y'all go y'all channel. So I started, like I said, three years ago, and this is the first thing I tell anybody that's, number one, either, you know, you starting from scratch, zero subscribers, or you starting from, you know, 100, 200, 500, 600, whatever you starting at. Um, and this also goes, this goes for anybody with any content that you do on YouTube for one. And I'm going to have some tips for y'all for show for show. And definitely for my 2K or gaming, uh, people that stream and stuff like that. So first thing I would tell anybody to do is get your friends and get your, like your, like your IRL friends and your, uh, PlayStation friends or Xbox. If you on Xbox for some reason, get them to sub to you first. My first subscriber was my boy V Shark. His name Land Shark. My boy Colin. He was my first subscriber. He subbed to me before I dropped that first video. At get your first, get your people to sub to you. That's your homeboys, you know, people that you know are real. Like I said, are real in the game. Get them to sub to you first. That way you got something to start off with. Secondly, stream, 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 stream. I promise y'all that's the move. Because you never know. If you stream, I promise y'all, y'all first stream, y'all might have one viewer and it be that your homeboy that you got to sub to you. Then you might not get nobody else. It's going to be like that. It started like that with me. You know what I'm saying? But you have to be consistent. Stream every day if you can. If not, every other day. You know what I'm saying? Not once a week, you're not going to grow. Twice a week, you're not going to grow. Three times a week, you might. You know what I'm saying? You know, if you starting off... Make sure you put tags. That is a huge thing. Oh my goodness, that's huge. When you if you're doing it off a of PlayStation, it has a button where you can do tags. You know what I'm saying? If y'all want to know what tags I use, just ask me in the description. I'll tell y'all. Do tags for the game you play. I specifically play uh NBA 2K is my main game. I play other games, GTA Fortnite, and I do IRL videos now. Stream, 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 stay consistent with it. If you can have a set time. A lot of people ask me, well, what time I stream? A lot of people know I stream at nighttime. I stream like at 9, 10 central time. Have your set time that you stream, put tags in, and keep going. Consistency, consistency, consistency. If you want to get your watch hours up, the quickest way is don't do what I did. When I first started streaming, I didn't keep my streams up, and I was playing music. So I got copyrighted and had to delete those streams. Now, recently, you know, like I said, in the past couple of months, I started actually keeping my streams up and not playing music. So it works towards my watch hours. Streams is the best way to get your watch hours up. And, you know, get your subscribers. People come in there and be unique. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody want to watch somebody that, you know, copying somebody else's flow. Be your own person. I never try to be no nothing. I'm not. I come on here. I be authentic, genuine. I just be chilling, vibing, doing my own thing. You know what I'm saying? You could be inspired by somebody. And sometimes you might show flashes of that person. You know what I'm saying? They might remind you of that person because you, that's who inspired you and kind of like shaped you to come become who you are today. So you might show flashes of another YouTuber or another actor, entertainer, WWE wrestler, whoever inspired you. 
But be your own person, you know what I'm saying? To go out there and do your own thing. Be unique. Um, you know, and to be honest with y'all, if you a 2K YouTuber, be good at the game. You know what I'm saying? And another thing, big thing too, it helps. Trust me, it helps. If you put your, uh, if you put YT in your name on, on like PlayStation, people will see that. They'll, I can't tell you how many times people have looked up my channel and say, oh, you just played me. Or even, oh, I just dropped you off. You trash. Appreciate you giving me a view. You know what I'm saying? You put YT in your name, it helps out. I wouldn't necessarily put a YT in like your social media names. It's kind of weird. But, um, you know, if you want to do that, go ahead. Do your ditty. Um, you know what I'm saying? So that's a big thing is streaming. Um, you know, when people come in, interact with your, interact with your subs, bro. Don't nobody want to sit there and you don't talk to them. What's the point of them talking to you if you're not going to say nothing? Interact with them. Be unique. That goes for any game you play. GTA, Fortnite, Rainbow, uh, SpongeBob, Baca Battle of Bikini Bottom, Rehydrated. Whatever game you play, you know what I'm saying, go in there like that. If you're doing IRL videos, I'm just getting into the IRL scene. Tags help, and promoting your stuff helps a lot with IRL videos because a lot of people don't watch gaming. A lot of people do watch gaming, but a lot of people don't watch gaming. So those that don't watch gaming... You know what I'm saying? If you're trying to do vlogs, public interviews, pranks, all of that, go ahead and promote your stuff on your social medias and other people's social medias. Instagram, Snapchat, uh, Edmodo. <laughs> Some of y'all might not know what that is. Uh, you know, Facebook, if you were old head and you use Facebook. Uh, all kind of stuff. Go ahead and promote your stuff. You know what I'm saying? Promote your video. Tell your friends to go check it out and everything. You know, and use tags for that also. You know, that's that's some of the biggest things that you could do, you know, just starting off and getting your 1,000 subscribers. Another thing, too, to my gaming people, it is, and this this goal, this is how you build up a loyal sub subscriber count, okay? A lot of people ask me, bro, how do you have so many people, you know, watching you or still messing with you or, you know, commenting on your videos and stuff like that? I'm going to tell y'all, don't go into somebody chat and say sub for sub. I'm going to keep it a thousand with y'all. At one point, I did that. I'm not going to sit here and lie like I didn't. I don't know. I didn't do it much. But I, I, at one point, maybe for like a span of a month, I had to go in people's streams. And I say, hey, sub, for sub? Mm -mm. That's not how you be a loyalty. If you want to do that, you can go. It's all good to go in somebody's stream. Don't promote your stuff. Don't promote your stuff. Go in there, chill with them. Talk to them. Catch their vibe. They catch your vibe. They'll be like, oh, let me check you. Oh, you got a YouTube channel? Then that's when you can say something. Don't go in there sub for sub because nine times out of ten, they either not going to sub or they're not going to support you. They're going to sub and forget about you. What's the point of having a thousand subscribers if you ain't finna get no views and they not finna watch you? What's the point of having them? You know what I'm saying? Just to say, oh, I got a thousand. No, that's not it. Now, if you look at some of my past videos, you will see where I was pulling decent numbers. Then I went down. Then I went back up. Y'all look at my streams now. I'm pulling 20 viewers. I'm holding constant 20 viewers. I'm going up to 30 sometimes. Sometimes I might drop to 16 or 17, but I'm pulling a decent amount of views for my subscriber count. That's because when I wasn't, I wasn't consistent for a while. So I slacked off. I lost a lot of people, lost a lot of support. You know, some still rocked with me. But then when I started growing back up, being consistent, you know what I'm saying? Uh, streaming like crazy. Still dropping some videos here and there. Started doing IRL videos. <clears throat> promoting my stuff on socials. I started gaining subs. Started gaining subs. Started retaining subs. Another big thing, too, for my streamers. Y'all know. If y'all one of my subscribers, you know I got raided by Troy. Um, uh, And I do raids also. I've gotten raided by other people before, too. But Troy was the biggest one I ever got raided by. If, if somebody see you, like, for instance, if I'm in here, sometimes I scroll through on YouTube when I'm late night. And I want a snack, and I'm not trying to watch myself. I, you know, want to eat me something, you heard me? Some ice cream, you know what I'm saying, or, or some crustables. And I, I, sometimes I watch other streamers, and I pull them up their streams, and I look to see who live. You know, I filter it. You know what I'm saying? That's the best way. If I see somebody constantly streaming, I'm like, dang, he grinding. Let me go sub to him or check out his stream. Nine times out of ten, you know, I'm going to support him. You grinding, I'm going to support you. You know, we can work together, support each other. You know what I'm saying? But also, when I be seeing people grind, because I like to do raids, you might get raided. 
It only take one time for somebody to come in there and raid you and your YouTube career or your YouTube perspective just change. So that's the best ways, you know, to gain your first 1,000 subs. After that, you keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. But the first group, the first, say, 20 should be people that's your boys, your friends, your homegirl, your baby mama, all of that. Get them to sub to you. You know what I'm saying? Your PlayStation friends. Get them to sub to you. Tell them to shout you out. Bring somebody else into it. Okay? Then the next thing is streaming. Constantly streaming even when you got nobody watching you. You know what I'm saying? Somebody going to be looking for you. Somebody going to see you streaming and grinding. You might get raided. To my IRL people that's doing, you know, all that. Y'all not in the gaming. Y'all can still stream. Maybe y'all want to stream you singing. Or stream you doing this. But make sure you put tags in it. And promote your stuff on social media. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's the biggest tips I could say, you know, to how, how, how to get your first 1,000 subs or whatever y'all let. Y'all want to grow y'all channel. Y'all wanted to learn exactly what I was doing. You know what I'm saying? How I'm doing it and everything. That's about it. Uh, if y'all got any questions, any comments, concerns, drop it in the comment section. Let me know. I'll come in there and respond to y'all. That's another thing, too. Like I said about being interactive, respond to your subs. You ain't got to sit here and add everybody and their mama on your friends list. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to do that, but you can at least respond to them while they in chat or in the comment section. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but drop in the comment section if y'all got any questions, anything y'all want to ask me about this video or something I didn't mention. Um, or any other video ideas that y'all want me to bring to this channel. I just wanted to bring this, you know, be informative. You know what I'm saying? Informative truth in the building. Trying to help y'all out. You know what I'm saying? Like a little brain pop or something. You hear me? Um, That's it for this video. Make sure to hit that like button for me. Subscribe if this helped you out. Or if you're new, turn on post notifications. Please hit that like button. It don't take much time to hit that like button. Watch this. Doop. That's all y'all got to do. Doop. You know what I'm saying? But appreciate all of y'all. Truth signing out. Stay up before you get woke up. God bless y'all. I'm gone.